Happening now, President Biden's plan to erase student loan debt is now in the hands of the U.S. Supreme Court. Justices heard several hours of arguments yesterday. NBC's Bree Jackson is in Washington now, and she reports some justices appear skeptical of the president's plan. A showdown at the Supreme Court. The financial future of millions with student loan debt on the line. It definitely weighs on my mind. I made the decision, the financial decision for myself, to go to the university where I would have the least amount of debt. The high court heard arguments Tuesday over President Biden's student debt forgiveness plan. It would erase up to $10,000 for people earning less than $125,000 per year and up to $20,000 for Pell Grant recipients. Conservative justices, they're skeptical. Along comes the government and tells that person, uh, you don't have to pay your loan. Liberal justices question whether the challengers, six Republican-led states and two people with student loan debt, even have the legal standing to sue and express sympathy for debt holders. They don't have friends or families or others who can help them make these payments. The evidence is clear that many of them will have to default. Part of the argument, the president overstepped his authority by taking action without congressional approval. Lawmakers are divided. The president's student loan giveaway will do nothing, nothing to address the root of the problem, and that is soaring college costs. In fact, it's likely to make things worse. 90% of the relief going to out-of-school borrowers will go to those earning less than $75,000 a year. This is not some giveaway to the rich. That's utter bull. The high court is expected to rule on the matter by the end of June. In Washington, Bree Jackson, NBC News.